you are full of excuses. You know that you need to grow. So you gotta hire people and do processes, but it just takes too much time. It takes too much effort. The truth is that you have to start small. You have to start part-time, you have to start freelancer, you have to start outsourcing, you have to start small. In business, so much of operations comes down to people and process. You need great people. They have to be in the right roles, but you also need process, right? Those people need to know what their roles are and their responsibilities and how do things work? What rules can I break to make it happen for a client and which rules can I certainly not break? You need people and you need process. When we're just working and working and working, hoping and dreaming that things will change to get us over here, but they never do because we don't take the time that we need to, to actually make it happen. When we're in that spin cycle, we need more people and we need more process, but we're too tired, we're too lazy, we're too busy to make it happen. And so naturally we get bold, we get, we get courageous, we say this day it's gonna end. This is the day, this is the last day that I'm gonna put up with this anymore. Tomorrow I'm gonna go out and fix this. And so our first response is to try and think, how can I find someone to help me? I need someone great, I need someone full time, I need someone really expensive because they're gonna fix everything for me, right? And that's where you run into trouble because like how do I pay for this person? How do I finance it and how do I grow? And then you don't do anything because it becomes too scary. Of course, there are part-time people out there. There are freelancers out there. There's lots of people that we can lean on, but that seems scary and that seems like hard work because I've gone through part-time people in the past and all the good ones leave. And I've tried freelancers, but they're just so expensive and I can't bring them on and yada, yada, yada. That's, you're full of excuses. I see it all the time. I'm full of excuses too, right? And that's why we don't get what we want. We do the same thing all the time, hoping that it's gonna get us to where we wanna go, but meanwhile, we're just, just doing little incremental changes. And so, here is what you have to do. One, you have to admit that you want what you want. You have to put a plan in place that's actually specific to get there with what you really need, and then you have to start today. And if starting today means going out and hiring a full-time person because you have the money, then go do that. But if starting today means finding the part-time person and bringing them on, and training them and knowing that they may leave or going out and getting the freelancer who costs a little bit more money but you bring them in on demand. Whatever it is, if you need people and process to grow, then you have to start with people. And those people have to be based on what you can afford. And you can't complain about how hard things are. You can't just say like, oh, there's no good people out there. To get to where you wanna go, you need people and you need process. So go out and get the people. Get that part-time person and live with the fact that they're hard to find and that they may turn over and you're not their greatest commitment. Go out and get the freelancer and bring them on and have them inject their knowledge into your business right away, maybe for a higher price. Don't hope to bring on the cheap part-time person but then get upset that they're not as dedicated as the full-time person. Right? Don't lie to yourself that way. Just get comfortable and be very practical and say, I'm gonna go out with part-time or I'm gonna go with a freelancer. And once you realize that that person makes a lot of sense, do some simple math and figure out if it makes sense to bring them on full-time. Will, will you see an exponential return on that investment? How did I start? I started by deciding I wanted to create these videos. Right? I wanna create this video series. But did I go out and buy all of the equipment and set up the backdrop and do the lighting and bring Steve on full time? Did I do that day one? No. Here's what I started with. I started by hiring a freelancer and asking them to work for one test day. And Jason came in, we did a test day. We threw out half the footage. We didn't even use it. It wasn't, it wasn't any good. It was enough for me to bring him back and say, okay, Jason, I want you to come two days a week and work with me. And then he was working with me two days a week. And we did that for three or four months until finally I was like, gosh, you know, this is going really well. I want to make this investment. I would bring Jason on two days a week forever, but I need editing work. And when I added up how much I paid Jason and how much it would cost me to bring on an editor, it was going to cost a lot more than me simply going out and finding a full-time worker. So I go to Jason and I say, Jason, I want you to work full-time with me. But Jason doesn't want to work full-time and he's not particularly great at editing. So I have to go out and find a Steve. And so unfortunately, as much as I loved working with Jason, as good as it was working with him, Jason's gotta go, and now we have a Steve. 
But I didn't start by going out and figuring out how do I justify a full-time employee for this? I started by deciding one, I wanna do it, and then what is the fastest thing I can do? Bring someone in to help me film some stuff. Even before I brought all this in, I used to film on my, on my iPhone, but I wanted to go to the next level and make the first investment. And so when you're thinking about your growth and the place that you wanna go, you need people and you need process. Start with the people that you can bring on that you can afford right away. Get comfortable with the fact that it might be hard, that it might be work, stop whining, stop complaining, stop imagining things could be easier, or thinking somehow that everyone else has it figured out because we don't. People are hard to find, they're hard to train, they're hard to keep, they're hard to keep motivated. Processes take work to develop, you can screw them up, you can have to fix them. This all takes time and energy and focus. But what's the alternative? Are you happy with what you have now? Do you want to ignore that dream that you have? Do you not want to build or grow your business? What's the alternative? Be exactly where you are now, doing exactly what you've been doing for years, getting the exact same results, or commit to your growth. Grow your people, grow your processes, work your ass off a little bit harder, and make it happen, and that will take you one step closer to that place that you want to be. Steve, Steve, camera guy, Steve. If growing and scaling your business by being better at sales and better at marketing, better at customer experience is important to you, be sure to check out this video right over here. And like always, subscribe to my channel, click on the bell icon and get each video every day when it drops.